to you all from Sanya Alanya in Turkey. You are watching Faces of Turkey on TV82. In this program we are going to tell you the story of Harold from the Netherlands who have lived in Alanya almost 30 years. So I hope his story will be interesting for you. So please stay with us. I am Harold, I am from the Netherlands and I want to tell you my story here in Alanya. What about Turkish tea or coffee? What do you like the most? Tea or coffee? None. None. <laughs> None. What do you drink every day? Uh, uh, normal coffee. Normal, normal filter coffee. <laughs> yes, and uh, raki. And raki. Okay. <laughs> it's also uh, Turkey. But today I want to show you one special place where you can come with your friends and drink tea or coffee or just rest. Mm -hmm. It's a tea house by Alanya Municipality. Yes. Very quiet place in a hot or sunny Alanya, very green and nice. It's Harold, for so many years in Turkey, uh, have you learned to cook Turkish food? Do you like Turkish, co uh, Turkish food or you cook maybe your uh, national food at home? Well, uh, first of all, because I'm working in tourism, mm -hmm. in the summer months I'm eating in the hotels. In so the hotels. I don't cook so much for myself. Mm -hmm. Uh, I cook some Turkish food like et sote, kufa sulye, mm -hmm. uh, but in winter time I like also the Dutch uh, food mm -hmm. and Indonesian. Indonesian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you find uh, easily ingredients for the Indonesian food here? Yes, I have many repeaters who are coming to ah, Turkey. Okay, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so they bring it to you. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, most of the things of the Indonesian kitchen is not no, no. here. Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah. So, what is your favorite Turkish dish? My favorite Turkish dish? Oh, I like all, but I like the kebabs. Kebabs? Yes. Mm -hmm. Iskender? No, not no. that. I don't like yogurt over meat. Yogurt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about uh, street food like durums or tantuni or kumpir, for example? Well, uh, tantuni I like, kumpir is also okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you have yengen, mm -hmm. also very nice. But nothing with fish. Nothing, no, no not in Holland, not here. <laughs> yeah. Do you go to Holland often? No, not that much. I went two years ago, mm -hmm. then I stayed for several weeks. I was glad that I came back. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the 30 years that I live here, I have been in Holland maybe six or seven times. Six or seven times, not many. Not more. No, not <laughs> no. more. But probably your friends and uh, family, they come here more often than you go to, to Holland. Well, um, as I do, told you, you, do you keep your connections to uh, Holland? Of course, I have still a brother in Holland. Mm -hmm. uh, we have sometimes a conversation over WhatsApp or something mm -hmm. like that. We have good contact. Mm -hmm. That's all, uh, also the only family I have left in Holland. Mm -hmm. And I have many friends uh, which I met also in Holland or met here mm -hmm. who became friends. Mm -hmm. And I can say especially 
April, May and September, October are very busy for me with yeah. repeaters. Exactly. Yeah. So you have more free time in winter, right? Yes, only. Uh, <laughs> only. <laughs> yeah. But do you do tours in winter also? Some yes, special? I, I told you, yeah. I uh, do two tours mm -hmm. uh, for Dutch people who are living here. Mm -hmm. And we are going to the east of Turkey mm -hmm. and coming back with the famous Doe Express. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it will be in January or one in January, in January. one in February. February. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In January, I have, have a group of twenty people, mm -hmm. and in fe February, fourteen. Mm -hmm. This question uh, I ask everyone: What do you think uh, when people say Alanya is boring and there is nothing to do here? Well, uh, if people are saying that then I think they are not going out of the hotel. Mm. They are only staying in the hotel and go in the evening maybe once in the week uh, mm -hmm. for a little bit shopping. Mm -hmm. But there is so much to do in this area. Mm -hmm. uh, I think also when you are going to a foreign country you have to discover something. Yes. Yes. Not only a hotel, sea mm -hmm. and swimming pool. It's true. And uh, even if you don't know the place, you can um, now on internet there are many groups, right? There are people, yeah. for example, uh, Holland people from Holland live in Alanya, and you can easily access anyone. And if you have any questions, you can you ask, can easily yeah. ask. And, but yeah. I think uh, the tourists of nowadays who are mm -hmm. coming to Turkey. Uh, don't want to do, do so much. Mm -hmm. They only want to drink, eat, swimming mm -hmm. and sunbathing and then they are going home. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a shame. But that is my thought mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. Harald, you Hello. came to Turkey yes. from Netherlands. That's true. For? Since 1990 I live here. 1990, it's almost 30 years. Yes. Uh, do you know someone who stays in Alanya, who have been in Alanya more than you? Yes, I do. You know, from which country? Also Holland. Also, <laughs> from, also from Holland. So, uh, please tell your story. Uh, when you come, came to Turkey for first time like a tourist and why you decided to stay here? Well, I came to Turkey in the year 1986. Mm -hmm. Started with a round trip, mm -hmm. fascinated about culture and history. A round trip from Holland to all over the country? No, I started from Holland and <laughs> I had my flight to Istanbul. Istanbul. From there I had a west trip. Mm -hmm. So, over Çanakkale, Troy, mm -hmm. uh, Ephesus, uh, Pamukkale, mm -hmm. and the last station was Alanya. Mm -hmm. There I stayed for one week more. Mm -hmm. And I liked it here, because it were friendly, peop friendly people. Uh, hospitality is very high. Mm -hmm. And of course it was, in that time, a little village. A little village, <laughs> I yeah. I can say. So, uh, a lot what, do you remember what was exactly on this place where we are now? Do you remember? I, th I think there were buildings, these buildings. Well, when I came here, uh, there were about 35,000 population, population, and it's now 312. Ten, ten, ten times more. <laughs> ten times more. Yeah. So, I can remember, so. Uh, when you go to the east side of Alanya, uh -huh. it was all orange gardens. Orange gardens. Yes. You mean uh, Karagijak side? Mahmoud no, no, Oba. Oba, even <laughs> Oba. <laughs> and uh, here it was more simple. Uh -huh. We had a very big uh, steps to go on the, the walking base. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And now it's more floor. Yeah, it's more like uh, in order now. Yeah. 
So and you decided to stay in Alanya one more week? Yes, I stayed for one week uh, here in Alanya. I was young, had a lot of parties, mm -hmm. made a lot of uh, uh, people. So there, it was a party town already <laughs> at that time, Alanya? Uh, yeah, yeah, we had uh, very famous discos like uh, Kuru, which is now uh, auditorium. Uh -huh. And almost every evening I was there. It was a simple garden, but a lot of fun. Different. Yeah, it's completely different. And after that you decided you fell in love with Turkey? Yes, I came um, I came back several times. And also for vacation. Also for vacation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I made also a lot of culture trips mm -hmm. here through Turkey because mm -hmm. there's so much to see here. Mm -hmm. And I don't like uh, sandy beaches. Mm -hmm. So um, so you're more into history, art, and these traditions? And yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I liked it very much. And I, I came in a divorce in uh, 1988. Mm -hmm. And then I felt life is changing. I went away. Mm -hmm. I uh, would start for one year. Mm -hmm. to come how, to how, old, how old you were? Uh, at that moment, 30. 30. And uh, you were working in Holland also, you had a job there, yeah, what you my were own, doing? I had my own shop. Uh -huh. I had a drugstore and perfumery uh -huh. cosmetics. Mm -hmm. So you had a uh, life there, like you were working, yes. you had family, and suddenly you decided... To sell everything and go away. <laughs> to sell everything, 30 years ago. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, 30 years ago. I, I think you're... Friends and family, they were telling that you were crazy? Yes, yes. I spoke... Uh, I didn't spoke for two and a half years with my family. Because of your movie? Yeah. Mm. I started here with a bar mm -hmm. in the harbor of Alanya, mm -hmm. which I liked. But uh, only nightlife is not enough for mm -hmm. me. And I, came, uh, I became an opportunity to uh, become a rep. Uh, for a Dutch company mm -hmm. and they wanted me to do only not only a hotel rep but also the excursions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I became acquainted with Cappadocia mm -hmm. and I fell in love with Cappadocia mm -hmm. so I stayed for two, uh, two years by that company mm -hmm. and then and I it happened uh, how many years later you uh, came to Turkey or oh, it's the same year same year same year but uh, you did not have experience before no right? not at all mm -hmm. not at all but the language because they needed the language yeah, right they needed yeah. Dutch and uh, they have seen mm -hmm. how I gave my service also my sellings were good mm -hmm. and uh, yeah so I stayed for two years by that company but then we became a director from the other, from another area here, and I couldn't go along with him, so I left. Mm -hmm. And then I came by a company, and I did only the Pamukkale and Cappadocia tours. Mm -hmm. So we were going with tours there to yeah. Cappadocia. Mm -hmm. And I did that for nine years for nine several years. Com uh, mm -hmm. several companies. Mm -hmm. and Are there many tourists from Holland, uh, if compare that time and now? It's changed, I think it's changed. Now well, you have a lot of um, tourists more at the moment, mm -hmm. of course, but culture is gone by the tourists. They are not only coming for eating, drinking, sunbathing, sun, yeah, and, and dancing, mm, having fun. And they don't want to go two or three days out of the hotel for a visit to Pamukkale or Copenhagen. Why? Because they are not interested anymore in the culture. But now I think the biggest problem is internet. Internet. Mm -hmm. And also because they can see everything there and when they come they they are getting too lazy. Too lazy. I, I, I don't know where, how it happened but yeah. the interest for seeing things is slowly slowly going away. Mm -hmm. As a tour guide you also you are always on the road right? You know the roads, the transportation yeah. and stuff. 
Uh, what do you think about the uh, transportation system in Turkey, about the roads quality? Because it's also important to foreigners, because as I say, many want to come, uh, rent a car and just just go or rent a bike and go or uh, ride the mm -hmm. bus, for example, even the trains. Well, uh, I think the roads are terrific in Turkey. If you compare it to the other Mediterranean countries, mm -hmm. they have very good roads. Only the behavior on the roads mm -hmm. is, again, very bad. Mm -hmm. So you have to get used to drive here. And be careful. And be, mm -hmm. be very careful. Very careful. Um, I can understand that there are people who want to discover more. Mm -hmm. But we are talking about the average tu mm -hmm. tourist, and uh, it's a pity that about 80-85% is coming to Turkey only for sun and swimming. 15% mm -hmm. is still in interested in culture. culture and I have my own Facebook, as I told you, mm -hmm. with more than 5,000 members, mm -hmm. where we uh, explaining a lot of things about mm -hmm. history, but also the habits of Turkey. That's what you do. It's very, uh, it's very important because uh, some people may say, oh, 5,000 people, not so much. But 5,000 people for what you do, it's, it's a huge amount. And can you imagine that those 5,000 people are interested in different sides of life in Turkey, right? Yeah. And uh, how you say, you are opening uh, the new uh, Turkey for them. That's what I also try to do because yeah. uh, we uh, we see so many and we've seen so many and we see it every day. So it's uh, unimpossible not to share, right? So we just want yeah. to share and share and share. Hello Harold. Merhabalar. <laughs> Do you speak Turkish? Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, it, it's, uh, it's difficult or easy? For me it was very easy. I learned it in eight months. Eight months? Yes. But uh, the other for, uh, foreigners, foreigners say Turkish is difficult, but you say easy. Yes. Um, maybe it came easy to me. I understand for some people that it can be very hard because the sentence is completely different with the European sentences. But my brains are working very quick. <laughs> Where did you learn Turkish? Or who did you learn? No. Who it? Where? On the street. I traveled a lot. Uh, also many places where they didn't understand any other languages. So I had to try to do it in Turkish. And I worked a lot in the inside of the country when I was traveling. And it came very easy to me. Also, I came in a time when there was no winter tourism in Alanya. So the people went away who spoke different languages. And I was alone without Turkish. So I had to learn it very quickly. <laughs> How long did you learn? Thirty years. Thirty years. Yes. So, so we can speak. Why English? If if you live uh, in Turkey, thirty years, we can speak Turkish. Abi. <laughs> uh, okay, continue Turkish. Okay. No problem. Herald, yeah. Herald, yeah. Herald, yeah. Hey. En çok nereyi seviyorsun Alanya'da? Alanya'nın e, neresi severim? E, Kale'ye çok severim. Dimçay'ı. Biraz arka. Yani yaylılar. Öyle. Keyfini biliyorum ama. Yaylılar yazın biliyorsun. <gülüyor> Tabii yani. Peki bu hani 30 sene önce neden Alanya'ya? Hani nereden aklına geldi? Önce, Alanya'ya geldi. Daha önce tatil olarak geldim. Ee, Anadolu turları yaptım. Yani ilk tanıştığım 1986 idi. 
O zaman Alanya küçük bir yerde, köy gibi. Kaplan Otel'de kalıyordum. Tam çarşıdan çünkü plajı sevmiyordum. Esnafla muhabbet ederek yani böyle tatillere geçti. Tabii içerek de. <gülüyor> Peki eski Alanya mı daha güzel? Eski. Şimdi, şimdi. Eski. Kesinlikle eski. Maalesef Alanya bozdu. What about uh, Holland people living in, Al in Alanya? I know that there are many, and I know yeah, many people from Holland. Uh, do you have any um, like community, or you have, for example, like meetings? You meet for singing? I don't know some community stuff. Is no, it going there, on in Alanya? Uh, there are. So we have many activities with the Dutch. Mm -hmm. So uh, special karting, uh, kart evenings, mm -hmm. uh, second hand bazaars, second hand, yes. uh, Saint Nicholas uh, mm -hmm. party. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of activities. Mm -hmm. We have even several Dutch restaurants here. Dutch restaurants, yeah. yeah. If you yeah. compare it now with then, yeah. I had in the 90s mm -hmm. two full buses to Cappadocia for three days mm -hmm. and now a big company like Thomas Cook mm -hmm. doesn't even have, a, even have one bus one a year, bus. Mm -hmm. a year, so that's a big change, isn't it? Yeah, they are really interesting. Maybe you're right when you say about the internet and technologies and stuff. So people are always, you know, and uh, it also feels, for example, I also watch a lot of videos from different countries. And when I watch it, it feels like, okay, I've been there, you know, maybe it's also like uh, this. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I think. Uh, Can it course. be that people also don't have enough money and they prefer for example uh, because I don't know how it's with people from Holland from Netherlands but uh, maybe when they come to Turkey to all-inclusive they have with them for example two hundred dollars and this euros. money they yeah <laughs> euros uh, they prefer for example to spend on clothing on something than to go on the tour so they're limited how is going with the tourists from Holland? Are they fine with the finances, or it's also the like the crisis? Of, uh, of course, Turkey is well known as a cheap uh, country, mm -hmm. and that means also that you get a lot of uh, guests who are coming from a lower mm -hmm. possibilities and don't have too much money. Mm -hmm. But you have also very rich people in. Yeah. Uh, coming to Turkey, yeah. they are going to the luxurious hotels, but they don't come out. Also the problem. Also yeah. the they problem. play golf there and they stay there, yeah. they drink, they eat and they, they have fun there. there. Yeah. In interesting, this really interesting situation because how do you think it will get worse or it will like... No, it's only getting worse getting because worse. If you speak in Alanya, not only with uh, reps, but also with the shops, mm -hmm. it's always going down, down. not up. Mm -hmm. We have more people coming, but spending is going lower. lower. Okay, uh, <coughs> you've been here for 30 years, more than 30 years. Uh, how can we solve this problem? How can we attract more people? How can we... What... I mean, Alani is a great place, right? Yes, it's, it's a nice it, place. It, it has to flow. I mean, it has to... Uh, I don't know, there are so many things here. Starting from natural things, sea, sun, to historical, to mountains, everything. Everything we can... Everything you can imagine is in Alanya. So, how to attract more people? Maybe change their um, strategy of uh, promoting Alanya of I don't know what's your ideas on this well there must be several changes mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> first of all all inclusive it has to be become a standard for example mm -hmm. a hotel must have 500 beds mm -hmm. 
when they have over 500 beds, they can offer all inclusive. Mm -hmm. Now even the smallest parts yes. have all inclusive, mm -hmm. with very bad quality, which is not good, mm -hmm. also for representation of Turkey. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Um, I think the prices must go up, mm -hmm. so that you get a little bit more quality. Mm -hmm. Then also not only promoting sun, sea mm -hmm. and beaches, but also the cultural life, mm -hmm. which uh, is of course uh, a duty of the Ministry of Tourism, mm -hmm. but they don't, don't do so much. I have my own Facebook page about mm -hmm. Turkey, mm -hmm. with more than 5,000 members, mm -hmm. promoting Turkey from another side, so the cultural side. Mm -hmm. and Thanks to this page, I have now for January and February two groups who are going with me to uh, the east of Turkey. East of Turkey. Yeah. Mardin. No, no. Further yeah. on, uh, we are going to Van. Ah, oh, Van. Van cars, mm -hmm. and uh, then with the Doğu Express train back to. Uh, this is very Kaiser. interesting too. Yeah. Yeah. And they are already asking, do you have more tours in the future? Mm -hmm. And these groups are from Holland? Uh, yeah, I have two groups from Holland. Or English speaking mixed? No, I have two groups from Holland. From Holland. I had uh, an English couple who wanted to come with me, but uh, her husband became ill. Mm -hmm. That's why she had to cancel it. Mm -hmm. But I'm now only promoted, uh, promoting it for the Dutch people here. In Al not only Alanya but the Mediterranean region. Mm -hmm. Harald, now we are on the boat, yes. one of the most popular, we can say, tours in Alanya, right? Yes. Uh, everybody goes on that tour and compared to all others, it's not so expensive and it lasts one day, as you said before, <laughs> it's a big problem to go out for uh, two or, or three days. Well, uh, Alanya boat tour is of course a, a tour for people who don't want to do it so much. Mm -hmm. So they are going for sunbathing, mm -hmm. eating, drinking, a little bit swimming. Mm -hmm. So it's a day similar as hotel, but outside. Yes. <laughs> but it's also nice. I also advise to everyone to go on a round tour because to swim in the open sea, it's so nice. It's and different, of to course. To see Alanya from the sea, especially in the daytime and nighttime, it's completely two different towns. So it's. But uh, the question is, uh, you are, as a professional tour guide, uh, being in Alanya, for example, for one week, where would you advise to go? Like, for example, three or four tours, you say you have, you have to do it. Well, first of all, of course, Dimchai, Dimchai. Uh, you have to do, mm -hmm. which is mostly of the time combined with the uh, castle of Alanya. Mm -hmm. uh, Gyps, you mean like Jeep Safari? 
it can be a city tour. City tour. Or maybe in combination of uh, Jeep safari. Jeep safari. But uh, of course the highlights of uh, Alanya you have to see like the castle, mm -hmm. the caves, mm -hmm. Dim Chai. Uh, Sapodari Canyon. Sapodari Canyon is another tour, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't advise that much. Mm -hmm. uh, I like for example Green Canyon. Green Canyon in Manapgat. Yes, it's very Manapgat. nice. It's one of the most beautiful areas of uh, the south of Turkey. Uh, if you want to have a little bit of activity, you can go for rafting, which rafting. is in a beautiful area. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you like to have culture, then you have to go to see the Aspendus Berge. Mm -hmm. it, it's depending, of course, uh, what kind of guests you have in front of you. And what would you advise if people come for a longer time, like two weeks, or for example, there are somebody who's coming for one month, they rent an apartment and stay here for the whole summer. Like, if you are uh, not so experienced with Turkey, where would you advise to go? As I told you, that is about the interest of the people. Mm -hmm. uh, but try to get away from tourism. Mm -hmm. Because tourism is a total other country than mm -hmm. the inside of Turkey. You have a world of differences. True. Yeah. And if you want to enjoy Turkey, the real Turkey, mm -hmm. you don't ha even have to travel that far. Mm -hmm. It's a few kilometers into the mountains and you have the real Turkish life. Mm -hmm. Like to some village, for example. Yeah. Like uh, which areas we have? Last weekend we went to Ibrade. Ibrade, yes. Very nice place. Yeah. So it's. Uh, I went to Tashkent last week. Tashkent, yes. It's very nice. Very nice, yeah. You can. Ermenek. Yeah, Ermenek. There are so many more uh, nice places. What I also like is the day to Konya. Mm -hmm. Konya is a completely different town than the South Coast. Yes, you can't it's true. Compare it. yeah. So it's more the interesting. I love Cappadocia. Mm -hmm. And I think if you are in Turkey, you have to see, uh, see Cappadocia. And don't do it by uh, flight, which is offered now at the moment, mm -hmm. but really on tour. On tour. Because you see which, much more. Which are best, two days or three days tour? Three days. Three, uh, three days, days is even two less. <laughs> for two <Cap> less, <laughs> yes, but for, for, for the tour, because, yeah. yeah two days is uh, too many kilometers yeah. and not enough time to not enjoy enough. Cappadocia.
world. Yes. Uh, where do you live in Alanya? In which area? Now we're in the center, but you live. I live uh, above the main road of Alanya. Mm -hmm. So you can say behind the court uh, buildings, mm -hmm. on a little hill, mm -hmm. looking all over Alanya. Very quiet area. And when I want to go into the busy streets, I need only five minutes. Into the busy streets like this, right? <laughs> yes. Where you can shop and uh, yeah. buy whatever you need. Okay. Is yeah. it is it far from your uh, home? Like Alanya Center, is it far from your Five home? minutes by scooter. Five minutes, oh, nice. Because we also live behind the big road. And it's also 10 minutes, you just go down. And, yeah. yeah. So, uh, have you always lived there around that place or you lived in different areas no, of Alanya? No, I have lived in different areas. Mm -hmm. I lived on the 25 meters road for the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was very, very busy, very Beard. loud street. Mm -hmm. Then in the middle of the center at the Friday market. Okay. Uh, but it was a very old building which old building. Uh, needed mm -hmm. uh, renovation, but they didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Hajet. Mm -hmm. And from Hajet now to there. To there. Mm -hmm. So you prefer now, is it like best area for you now? Yeah, it's a very nice area yeah. because it's first of all quiet, no traffic uh, mm -hmm. noise. Green? Is it green there? Uh, where is it green in Alanya? <laughs> yeah. Well, a little bit greener than uh, in the center of course. Yeah, but uh, most important it's not so much noise. Yeah, and a beautiful view. And everywhere in Alanya we have these uh, beautiful old houses which have been restored. What do you think? Could you live in such a traditional Turkish house? Uh, I think for one person it's very big. Very big. Very big and I have to clean it by myself. Yeah. So for me a but small apartment is better. No, <laughs> uh, that's true because big apartment is too much. Too much. Uh, you need too much time for cleaning and everything. But I mean, um, atmosphere. No, would atmosphere. it suit you the, this atmosphere of the yes, traditional I, house? I would love it. Yeah. I like old things. Also, my modern apartment is a little bit old-fashioned design. Furniture, we have the same <laughs> old-style yeah. furniture, which we bought which were brought to Alanya from Gaziantep, this all antique things. We yeah. also like this. But really, these houses, they're uh, taken care of, and you can see many in Alanya Street and also in the castle. Yeah. So it's like... Uh, uh, they are doing a very great job with renovating mm -hmm. these kind of houses, mm -hmm. because it's still a piece of culture for Alanya. Mm -hmm. And between the modern buildings, seeing an old building is very nice. I know Alanya when there were almost only these kind of buildings. Only this kind of? <laughs> oh, you are so lucky. <laughs> yeah. I have also one more question for you. Uh, what would you advise to people who are new to Alanya or who are thinking about coming to Alanya to stay for a long time or to live here? What would be the first advice to them? Uh, first of all, don't trust. Uh, not everyone. Mm -hmm. Take care and uh, really choose the person which will you do business with mm -hmm. very, very carefully. Mm -hmm. And I advise don't buy immediately, but rent for the first time mm -hmm. to uh, take care of if mm -hmm. it is uh, what you expected. Mm -hmm. And do it also in winter time because summer time mm -hmm. is different than winter time. Mm -hmm. That you are going in several seasons to see if it's also in winter time as nice as in summer time. Mm -hmm. Many give this advice actually before buying rent and see if you like the area because in winter time it can be very quiet. In summer time it can be loud music from hotels and yeah. restaurants and maybe it will not suit you. Yeah. So this this advice also and of course um, if you want to do business. Uh, check the legal stuff, uh, speak with the yes. people from your country doing business here, uh, hire the translator, translate the laws you need to know if they don't exist in your language. Yeah. So, um, 
do research. This is very important. Of course. Do research first and then think if you are... Because business is always risk, right? But be prepared and risk being prepared. So. Yeah, you can bring down the risk when you are researching yes. and preparing your job for the future. Yes, like it's but like... in all countries like this. Yes. Well, the municipality is taking care of uh, many uh, street dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah. You can help them with uh, only offering a little bit of food when you see the cats or the dogs on the street. Take a little uh, pouch in your bag and take it with you to feed them. Mm -hmm. For example, like this, we can see there are some food right, yeah. for street cats and there is place for water. Yeah. So. Uh, near almost every house there are some small plates or you can just bring it or do it yourself especially especially in the summer it's very hot yeah. and there are some shops like big uh, chain shops they offer uh, small bags with cat or dog food which you carry with yourself we have it in our car or behind our bike uh, also in the box we carry something so uh, street animals and are there many street animals in your area also where you live? In my area I have a lot of cats mm -hmm. and that's why I always put some food outside mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. some drinks mm -hmm. and try to take care of them but mm -hmm. I'm not allowed. Yeah. <coughs> there are many foreigners in Alanya who are doing it and yes, Turkish uh, people. I mean the community here. They are taking care taking of the animals, care. or even the municipality with the beautiful mm -hmm. cat houses in the parks mm -hmm. and uh, also a dog uh, shelter. They are trying to do, but that must be done a little bit more. Mm -hmm. they, need, they need help. Yeah. Harold, thank you very much for your interesting story. And I hope that our friendship will not end on this video because you have so much to share your experience about Alanya and your life experience in Turkey. So guys, if you are from Holland, from the Netherlands and you want to join Harold's Facebook page, I will leave the link uh, below and you can contact Harold directly and maybe you will go with him on one of his interesting trips around amazing Turkey. So Harold, thank you very much. And You're welcome. We're inviting everyone to our sunny Alanya and uh, to magical Turkey. Of course, enjoy Turkey. Not only but sun, sea and beach. Because it's too beautiful to be left. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed the story of Harold. And please watch our program Faces of Turkey on TV82 and on my YouTube channel to know more about wonderful people living in sunny Alanya and discover Turkey for life and for holidays.